Hi, uh, this is lesson three, I think, maybe. I don't know. Get all a bit confused with the lessons because it doesn't tell you which one it is. Um, right, so tan squared, sine squared, anything like that, we just need to solve it like we would do normally. So if that was x squared, or let's try y squared, is 9, then I'd say that y is plus or minus 3. So that's exactly the same idea. So it's almost like um, disguised quadratic to the one so it. So I know that tan x is plus or minus 3. So I've got two options. I've got tan x is 3, or tan x is minus 3. So if I look at the inverse tan of both of these, I'll do them side by side. Because I'm going to, oops, that's anonymous. I'm going to get the answers to them both as I go. So it's up and So menu one, I've got shift, tan of three. That's small. Well, that's just a shift tan, that's why. Can't blame you. Uh, 71.6, so 71.6 degrees, and then shift tan of minus 3 is minus 71.6 degrees. There. Now I'm looking for an answer between 0 and 360. So if you look, that one's out of the way. So that's outside of the answers that I'm looking for. So I've got to be careful now when I graph this. I'm doing 0 to 360. Uh, so I'm going to do menu 5. I want the tan graph, so tan of x. I'm going to do it for 3. So it's a fiddle with my axes, so it's, what is it, is it 0 to 360? Yep, so that's okay. But my y axis, I'm going to do about, what did I say about minus 8? To 8 gives me a, a picture. There. So that's the picture I want to draw, really. So I've got a tan graph. So it goes up, oh, it's too big, too big on my graph, but I can't find any of my, um, my stuff to change it. Oh. Uh, right, so it goes up, there's an asymptote at 90, then it goes whoop, 3180 and up to 270, there's an asymptote at 270, so that's where 180 is, and then up to 360. So the first one I'm looking at is 3 which is there. So it gave me a first answer of 71.6. So the second answer will be add on 180. So let's have a look. So intersect 71.6 to 51.6. So I've got x is 71.6 and 251.6. That's cool. Now then, let's have a look at the other one. So the other one is for minus 3. So let's change this into a minus 3 and see what we get out. I'll change colour. So if you look, the minus 71.6 doesn't work. If I draw my line on for minus 3, you can see I've got a number which is past 90 and a number which is past 270. So if I do my G solve, so the minus 71 doesn't work. Well, we have to show it. So what I've got then is 108.4 degrees which comes from 180, take away the 71.6. And the next one should be 360, take away the 71.6, which is 288.4 degrees there. So that's that one. So I've done it twice. Right, let's have a look at this one then. So this next one looks like a disguised quadratic. If I have it as 3 cos squared of x plus 5 cos of x minus 2 is 0. In poly, I can put 3, 5, minus 2. So let's give that a go. So menu, down to equation, poly, degree 2. I what numbers I'm putting in. So 3, 5, minus 2. Gives me a third, so I get a third out, or I get a minus two out. Right. 
Now, if it was just 3x squared plus 5x minus 2, it would just be x equals. Well, this is for cos, so this is cos x equals. Cos x equals. All right, so let's, let's do the inverse cos first. So cos to minus 1 over 3rd. So let's go menu one. So this might be jumping a bit too quick, but don't worry. We have the lesson to have a look as well. So that's 70.5. Now that's going to relate to a line which is at one third, uh, which is in there at one third. And if you look, there's 70.5 and there's the other one. Now what about this one at minus two? A line at minus two doesn't hit it. So we know there's no solutions there because a line at minus two doesn't cross. And what we have to say, we have to be clever about this, because cos goes between plus or minus one, we need to say y. And that's because, you know, we use the modulus function because that means a plus or minus is less than or equal to one. So cos lies between plus or minus one. So there's no solution because cos lies between plus or minus one. If we just nip back on the other one, then we're done. Uh, so menu five. So we'll have a cos graph. Cos x, I'm going to go because I've got to teach in a minute. I can hear people moving around. Oh, that's 13, that's not good. And then, so one over three. Oh. This is what happens when you rush. If you rush because you're running out of time, nothing works. So change that to 1.1, or minus 1.1, to 1.1. And that's my value, so we do G solder intersect. I get 70.5, and I get, uh, it will be sort of be 289.5. Uh, we'll do some more of these in class, don't we? See you later, bye.